Okay, so I pulled up the ghetto recording thing to show my Lionel farming setup. So, uh, I need to collect bows, so that's why I'm doing this. I need uh, more Lionel bows. But with uh, this bad boy here, the evil armor set, you get bone weapons, the proficiency. Fuse a Royal Guard's Claymore to the strongest bone weapon, get it to almost breaking point. Uh, and that's your, actually the strongest weapon in the game, besides, it's actually not this, even though it doesn't show it number wise. So, and then the last key part uh, is to eat some attack up food and you are absolutely cooking with damage at that point. Uh, so my setup here is three in the overworld, one in the depths. We're gonna try and do at least three in one attack up food. Uh, if we're cooking, we might be able to do the depths too. So here we go. And then we wanna save. Okay, so come up to the Lionel, pull your weapon, put it away. <sighs> Okay. And then you'll see that we're going to evaporate this dude. One flurry, two, two arrows. Okay. That's for day one down. Don't need those. Okay. So that's the first location. Second location is actually right by a shrine here. Uh, Oops, wrong shrine. This shrine here. We're gonna go for that guy there. We're gonna fuse here. So it's one down. There you go. Now this one, I am not good at the. T so the normal sword and the spear are very easy. This is one of the two. This is the two-handed one. Uh, I'm not good at that. <laughs> I'm not good at that at all. I'm not good good at the timing on this one. So there is actually a way. You can just get the no scope immediately. Make sure I point it the right way. Okay. Is that you can actually feel fuse a wing? And then you can actually get uh, a, bu uh, a bullet time by. Right. I fucking forget it. Cause you pull up the shield. Yeah, pull up the shield. And then you pull out your bow there on that part. So we're gonna we'll try and get that with this guy here. that, like so, mount him, and then I'm going to fuse a Gibdo bone here to make sure he dies, I only have three left, and now we're going to just, don't need that anymore. what we want. Okay, so next location, I set a travel medallion for this one. There's uh, no easy way to get it. So we go here. You can do uh, the same headshot opening start. I think it's even ch cheesier by cheese standards, so I don't know. I think it's actually faster to do that. But uh, I will fight this guy. Legit, and by legit, I mean I will actually parry him. This is also a good spot to farm meat. It will come up, put this up, pull it away. This is another sword, dude. Get him in the head. Another one down. <laughs> I think we should be easily able to get all four. So 
So the last thing we need to do is we need to take a rocket out. Or we need to uh, use the rocket to there. We don't care about either of those. Okay, the next one we're going to go to is in the depths. We are going to go to here. So this little platform here, you can actually fight. I'll make sure I'm at the right one, yeah. You can actually uh, fight one of the bosses again. But we are not going there. So this is an armored silver lino, which I think might be even easier. So they're the easiest because to initiate the battle, you have to be in bullet time. Basically, you have to kill the armor first. So you either have to flurry rush with the armor that breaks rocks. Uh, or you can do what I'm going to do, which is jump on a rocket and then bomb them away. So we have one minute ten. That should be plenty. Of, so most of that is going to be running to the fucking Lionel areas. So we should... Almost all of this is going to be bullet timing. There he is. See ya. <laughs> Oops. Got up. There we go. Just keep doing this until they're all down. You don't need to be that high up. In fact, you probably don't want to be. You're only pretty close to the ground, so it's pretty easy to run towards. So he's always downed immediately. So that's why this is going to be pretty easy. There we go. 30 seconds to spare. Oh, as we take damage from Gloom. But yeah, that's my Lionel farming. You can go... Thanks. Uh, can't carry any more of these. Oh, we will drop that one. And then we will get out of here. But yep, that's my Lionel farming technique. Four and one attack up food. You can be very efficient. So I'll just briefly talk about the rest of my weapons I'm trying to make. So that's the Skimtar of the Seven. This is the strongest one for normal usage. Uh, I'm not going to let it break. I'll repair Octorox when it's close to breaking. Uh, this is a... I have two Zora weapons. 122 and should be 154 here. That's the light scale trident. This is the most durable weapon in the game too, so this thing lasts forever. Uh, another Gerudo Skimtar. One Gliok Gloom Sword plus a Gliok. One Captain Reaper. And then now I've got a bunch of Silver Lionel things to make too. So uh, I'm going to use these. And then I think what I'm going to do for the rest of my playthrough is as I collect the, the legendary swords. So for example... This one is the Skyward Sword Sword. Uh, if you do the Goddess Shrine quests, the power of the Spring of Courage, Spring of Wisdom, and Spring of uh, Spring of Power, Courage, and Wisdom, all three, uh, you get the Skyward Sword Sword. It's twenty-four. I think what I'm going to do is just use all those type of swords, <laughs> and then a few silver stuff onto it because you can get look, they're all twenty plus, so you can get pretty high attack values on that. And of course, the Master Sword, I've got a Silver Lionel fused to it, so... Yeah, that's my Lionel farming. You can do it very easily, very quickly.